Hey everyone, here with my first LEGO Star Wars Solos at review. And this one is on the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack, which was just released. So on the front of it, see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and the new border of which, with the yellow logo and all. But at least a little bit of difference to the last border from Last Jedi and all. And so... You see a picture of everything in action. And then you see age recommendation 6 through 12. Set number 75207 has 99 pieces and Disney logo. And then continuing with that kind of thing with some you know, like set in action, so not profile and all. And then on the back is it in another pose, all the both of the features of it. Yeah. And on to the booklets. Or the booklet. Same picture as on the front and everything. How to win on the online survey. Got all the pieces included. Add for Lego Life. Add for the like first wave of 2018 sets. And also all the build figures that were also just released. Add for the solo sets and the like uh, spring sets above. And all the minifigures that are included with each one. But is but are like in different backgrounds compared to like a, a single background which is quite unique. Which is good. So expect reviews on some of these pretty soon. And it's the last building steps. And so now, first of all, is the new range troopers, which you get two of in this set. At least this has some good printing and all, but at least the helmet piece of which quite cool and all. Which looks kind of like a regular stormtroopers, but just with some black all around it. And the back printing as well. Some good back printing, and at least this could go in any good good in any empire army. And one annoying thing, and anger cold face is Lego. Stop using this face. Use a plain black p head piece. Which, if you're army building uh, stormtroopers and all, you're probably annoyed by that. And next up is in. Imperial uh, Guard, or Imperial Officer, who of which is just kind of the same printing as ones in the past, and the same hat piece with the Empire symbol on it, or with something on it. But with a different kind of face printing. Lastly, is a, a female Death Star Trooper one. But, which, as you can tell, kind of about the same printing and everything as previous ones. If it decides to focus. Focus. Okay. Yeah, you see it's a female character, which is a little different, but at least good to have some diversity in army building. And helmet piece and their back printing, also pretty good and all. And last one, and now onto the main build of it, of which is this little speeder of it. But as you see, and the front part of it with a black Borok eye tooth to like even out the flaps. And also a couple of stud shooters there. And but some good greeple details on there. And further back are kind of the same, but with this flap piece with the Empire sign on it. And then there's the Bonk Baraki eye pieces in bright blue compared to darkish clear blue. Oh, which is good. And then 
what I really don't like is it doesn't have any of the like uh, curve pieces underneath because of which with the Force Awakens battle packs a couple years ago they did do that to make it like rollable at all and this which can lift up and although I think I lift up and as just a good or someone kind of said dated is you can use this as like a blocking wall or something if you want and yeah. I'm not sure what this the lightsaber hilts are supposed to be probably like extra blasters or something so and there's one of those like little jumper pieces on there to like seat a trooper or any kind on there and just fly off like in the trailer What else to say on this? At least it's good length and size for a battle pack vehicle and all. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. So the final verdict is, I think this is a pretty good battle pack. And while it checks off all the marks for a battle pack, or what it should be like. <coughs> Sorry. Just a couple of army buildable characters, and at least probably, well, all good army buildable characters, and a good beater. But there's beater, which of course, like in Clone Wars and all, but, but at least it's not a Clone Wars related one. But And if you're looking to army build range troopers for an Empire army, then go ahead and pick this up. Or make a total army of it. Go out and pick up as many of these as you can. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.